Don't play games. What's your objective? Well, I, I asked you direct questions three times and you haven't answered it. Well, I did, and yes. yet you want me to answer your questions, but you don't answer mine. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by PorkFest.com. <laughs> You see, I mean, the state's got enough money to put potheads in jail. How can you say it has a need for more money? The state does not have enough money to put potheads in jail. And they, I am told continuously by all the law enforcement people that almost everybody that is in the jail for use of marijuana or something like that is also in the jail for embezzlement or, or writing bad checks or shoplifting or whatever because or running a video they are camera? trying to get their no. Or recording a bureaucrat on the phone? No. That is your it. First Amendment right. It's also my First Amendment right not to have to continue to answer questions. That's true. You got that Fifth Amendment right. Good on you. <laughs> that's, not, that's not the Fifth Amendment. All right. Well, thanks for some answers, Ms. Almy. Right. You take care. You're on the board, correct? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm on the commission, I'm sorry. I'm the city council representative on the conservation commission. Okay, so you're not actually on the commission itself. Or you're on both. I am the representative from the conservation commission to the conservation. I'm the representative from the city council to the conservation commission. Okay. Uh, does the does the city or does the um, does the conservation commission receive any kind of federal grants, or does it administer any? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Do you have any sense of what it? I guess it's probably not that much. But any sense of what it costs taxpayers per year <clears throat> to run the commission? Well, they're all volunteers. I know that part. Yeah. So uh, there's not what you call any budget for doing it. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I'm I not an authority on that. But. All right. I appreciate your time. Yep. Now, I asked you. You didn't ask the answer me. Sorry. Would you like a card, or what was your question? And I'm still oh, recording. I asked you what your objective was. It's to ask questions. I do ambush uh, that, interviews. That's, that's a. That's a don't play games. What's your objective? Okay. Uh, you, you mean the ultimate objective? What's your objective? You seem kind of angry, so I guess I'm going to well, start recording with games. this again. Uh, how, how so? Tell me why it's a game that I'm playing. You won't answer questions. Well, I, I asked you direct questions three times, and you haven't answered it. Well, I did. And you, yet you want me to answer your questions, but you won't answer mine. Well, you're a public official. However, I And you are who? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. I guess I'm going to try it a second time to shake your hand. Let's see if it works. No, yes, not. I, I think we just <laughs> Okay, well, off with you then. All right, so I felt like I answered the question, but I didn't have much chance to provide a second answer to the question after the first answer wasn't good enough. Oh, well. The angrier they get, the happier I get. All right, so his questions are not unfair, and I do think that it's not unreasonable for him to want answers to them, so I'll go ahead and answer them, just in case he happens to be watching this video. Uh, I've never really laid it out too concisely in my mind, but I think objective number one is to make sure that each video gets attention, that it's entertaining. Uh, the reason for wanting a video to get, in, uh, to get a lot of attention is partly financial, because I get more ad revenue, but also partly because it attracts more people to move to New Hampshire for freedom, and they see freedom activism going on. A tertiary objective would be uh, serving as a sort of deterrent or an accountability mechanism for authorities, uh, so that they don't want to do something that they're getting asked a lot of angry questions about, if that makes sense. And then I guess the last objective I can think of would just be to sort of document uh, the level of transparency. What kind of, how much, how much hand am I getting over the camera? How many people are getting angry at me? How many people are telling me to turn the camera off? That kind of thing. Uh, how many times am I getting 
hit. <laughs> so uh, it's good to, to be able to document those things. All right, those are some objectives. I guess there are a few others I haven't thought of yet, but there's an answer to your question, sir, if you're watching. What? You haven't decided whether to attend Porcupine Festival this year? June 22nd through the 29th in gorgeous Lancaster, New Hampshire. This year's event focuses on gun building, self-reliance training, and great music. The $75 price goes up to 100 bucks, and you'll need to pay at the door if you don't register by May 31st. Porkfest.com.